हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल टुडेज क्वेश्चन इज नंबर कॉम्प्लीमेंट इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग वी सोल्व अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस चैनल एंड दैट कैन डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू विद योर इंटरव्यू द क्वेश्चन इज गिवन अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर आउटपुट इट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट नंबर एंड द कॉम्प्लीमेंट स्ट्रेटेजी इज टू फ्लिप द बिट्स ऑफ इट्स बाइनरी रिप्रेजेंटेशन मीन्स लेट्स एट द एग्जाम्पल वी आर गिवन विद फाइव and the binary representation of 5 is 101 we will complement it so it will become 010 and 010 is 2 so the output is 2 and if you look at example number 2 we are given with 1 so we will take the binary representation of 1 that will be 1 and the complement of 1 is 0 then binary 0 is equal to 0 so the output is 0 so let's move on to pen and paper Let's see how we can solve this question. After that, we will see the code. I have taken the example given in the question. The question is asking us that we need to convert five into binary. Then we need to take a complement of it, and then need to return two as answer. So before we see how we can solve this question, this is a table of XOR. This is how XOR works. So, what is the easiest way? The easiest way is I will come to every digit, and I will revert it. That means I will make one to zero, zero to one, and one to zero. But we need to find the way. The way we can do it. The easiest way is every time I will take a XOR with one, and we can see when I do with one and one. It will give us zero, and when I give it zero one, it will give us one. When I do it with one, it will give me zero. When I will do it with zero, it will give me one. When I will do it with one, it will give me zero. And then this is two, and we can return it. So we find out our way. We will define a variable bit that will be equal to one, and we will take a x bar of num with bit and bit is 1 and after taking for the first time it will become 1 0 now we will move our bit to the left so here we can use the left shift by 1 so it will come here again we will do the xor now it will become 1 1 0 again i will move my bit to the left by 1 and again i will perform my xor here it will become 010 and we can return 2 but here we have a problem and the problem is we don't know where to stop our this performing of xor why because 101 can also be represented as Zero 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 one zero one, and if I will perform my XOR with one in this way, at the end I will get one 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 zero one zero. We need to find a way where we can stop our performance of XOR here. So the easiest way with that is we will use a combination of left shift and the right shift, and let's see it with the example. So we have one zero one. So we know what we are doing. We are doing a XOR with bit, and we are moving the bit to the left. In the same way, if I can take one zero one and move it to the right every time when we perform bit. So let's see it with the example. We have one. I perform the XOR. It will become one zero zero. I will move my bit to the left. it will come here and i will move my nums to the right by 1 so it will become 10 because i moved it by 1 again i will perform the xor it will become 110 and again i will move it to the right by 1 so it will become 1 now again i will move my bit to the left it will come here and now my answer will become Zero one zero, and again I will move it to the right. 
by 1 it will become 0 and when it becomes 0 we will simply return this so here we get what we will do we will take a while loop while my num is not equal to 0 I will perform num equal to num xor bit and then I will make a left shift to my bit then I will make a right shift to my attempt which will be equal to num to temp equal to temp right shift 1 and at the end I will simply return my num so this is the way we can solve this question let's move on to the coding part and let's see the code so I made a variable temp which will be equal to our num and I've taken a bit which will be equal to 1 so while my temp is not equal to 0 or you can say till the time my temp exists I will make a XOR with bit and I will move my bit to the left by 1 and then I will move the temp to the right by 1 and why we are doing this so that we can know where we have to stop this execution and at the end I will simply return now so let's see whether it works or not here I submitted my code and it got accepted so this was the code for this problem if this video was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up thank you so much guys for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe